Hi all, this is Emma from Plan Inspire Create and welcome to another studio vlog. It's Tuesday today and yesterday I didn't pick up the camera because there wasn't really that much interesting to film, although it was a really, really long day. I ended up editing my Draw With Me video, which came out last Wednesday, what felt like practically all day. Um, I thought it would be a quick one to edit, but it just seemed to take forever. And then I kept exporting it and finding mistakes in it that I couldn't see in Premiere Pro. And yeah, it was just a very, very long, long day. So I did that yesterday. And I also made some prints of the Fox drawing to put in my shop. Um, so what I need to focus on now is getting the shop listings done because I'm hoping to get it in the shop for tomorrow um, when the video goes live. So I've got that going in the shop, the Festival Fox print, I'll show you, hold on. Here it is, little focus, there we go. I've got 5 by 7 and A4 and then I've also got a new weekly insert coming into the shop. So I took the photos yesterday actually, um, but obviously I need my camera for that. So this morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the photos and get them ready to upload to Etsy. And then I've actually got a friend visiting, so I'm going to take a break then. Um, I've uh, We'd usually go for a walk, but I pulled my back and then an old knee injury has resurfaced. So basically, I'm just falling apart. So bless him, he's bringing me a coffee to my garden and we're gonna sit in the garden and just have a chat for a bit. So I'll edit the pictures now, see what I can get done in terms of Etsy listings, and then I will break off for coffee and I'll see you after.
the day ran away with me yesterday so I didn't end up coming back after my nice garden time. <laughs> um, as you can see again out the window from this kind of blur of light, it's really bright outside again today but I'm going to be inside today. I've got lots of work to do so I've just put together my to-do list which I've got here and this morning I've got kind of admin things to do which I'm not going to bring you along for because there's only so long you want to sit and watch me typing on a computer and um, I don't think that'd be that interesting for you to see but I've got to schedule tonight's video that's just reminded me of something I haven't put on my schedule my video comes out at six o'clock gotta promote that video there we go that should have been the first thing on there so got to schedule the video ready for tonight do all the thumbnail all of that get it listed um then i need to finish off my shop listings for the festival fox and the new weekly insert and so and i might film a reel so i'm going to do all that this morning and then i'll probably have a break because that's a lot of screen time and then i'm going to come back this afternoon and i will show you what i'm working on so I'm going to design a new sticker this afternoon um, it's as I'm filming this it's World Autism Awareness Week and I'm autistic and I wanted to do something for it. I have been sharing some links over on my Instagram to a blog and podcast that I run with a friend about autism but I wanted to do something for my shop. It's something I've had in my list of things to create from the beginning is I wanted some kind of autism related products and this week has kind of given me the push to think this is the week you need to get one sticker done so I'm actually going to be experimenting with something new I'm going to try and create a holographic sticker so that when you move it it's got kind of shiny sparkles so I'm going to bring you along for that process I haven't actually designed the image yet so I'll do that today and it's going to be a text sticker that says STEM proud which is a phrase that my friend started to say last year when we were talking about stimming. If you don't know what stimming is I'll talk about it briefly but I did write an introductory blog post which I'll link down below if you're interested to know in more detail. Let me just have some coffee. But it kind of depends who you ask about what stimming is. If you kind of look at it from a medical perspective, it's kind of described as repetitive movements or behaviours that are thought to have a kind of calming or soothing effect. It's thought to be a kind of reaction to feeling overstimulated from all the things that are going on in the world if you've got kind of heightened sensory reactions. So the obvious example is something like hand flapping you might see a lot however if you actually ask autistic people sometimes you get a slightly different perspective on it some people think that this is a behavior that needs to be stopped because they consider it to be disruptive so for example if you think of a child in school People might think if they're engaging in a repetitive behaviour that they're not listening or concentrating. Maybe they might think it's distracting to other pupils, for example. So there can be a kind of negative view and a stigma around stimming. But if you actually ask autistic people about it, you can get different perspectives. So autistic people will describe kind of rhythmic or repetitive movements or behaviours and the kind of words they'll use to describe it in my experience is soothing or calming or comforting. And yes, it can help soothe overwhelm, whether that's from the external environment that there's too much going on or perhaps a build up of negative emotions like anxiety. But it can also be because of positive emotions. So it's not always a negative. So, for example, if a person's really excited and they have this huge kind of surge of positive emotion, then it helps just kind of regulate that a bit. And it's also a way of expressing it. There are loads and loads and loads of different actions and behaviours and things that could count as stimming. I used to think I didn't stim because the examples I'd heard of I just didn't associate with. But yeah, I'll leave the link to that article down below. I won't go into it in super, super detail. But basically because of the kind of negative attitudes that can be sometimes around stimming and people being discouraged from doing it, me and my friend were trying to encourage ourselves to stim more when we felt comfortable to make sure we didn't have this kind of build up during the day and then really crash in the evening and find it too overwhelming and difficult to cope and my friend started to use a phrase stim proud um, as a kind of positive phrase to yeah promote 
steering as a positive action so I've always wanted to put that on a sticker so that is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to get my boring jobs out the way that you don't want to see and then I'm going to come back and start designing. It's nine o'clock Wednesday night which slap on the wrist it's very late to be working as you can see I don't look quite as fresh as when I checked in this morning um, my afternoon went a bit wrong so I started designing the sticker and then my laptop overheated and while I was waiting for it to cool down I fell asleep um, so that was my afternoon but it was actually really good because I haven't been sleeping because of pain and new medication and stuff so it's the first time I've been actually able to just fall asleep easily in ages so I think it's probably good news so tonight I tuned in to Emily Harvey's Patreon live stream on YouTube it was about an hour and a half and during that time I finished my sticker prototypes which you will have seen so here they are Look at the sparkle. I'm actually really pleased with how they've turned out. Um, so let me tell you, the self-adhesive vinyl that I used was from, where's the business card? Was from Hyper Vinyl Art and they're on Etsy. And this was the sequins in transparent and there's five A4 sheets in a pack. It was quite hard to apply, like harder than the um, laminate that I usually use that's clear because it was a lot stiffer, so it was hard to get the wrinkles out. But I only had one 
that had a wrinkle in it and so I wouldn't really be able to use. So one out of 12 isn't bad and it was my first time using it. So I think I would get better at applying it over the top of the sticker sheet before I put it in the Cricut. But they turned out really, really great. I'm really pleased with them. And so my plan is tomorrow, I'm gonna list these in the shop. I'm actually gonna record a podcast for my for the Autosphere, my autism podcast, that's happening tomorrow. And I'm also going to record Sunday's video. So by the time this comes out, you will have seen Sunday's video. It'll be on my quarter one goals and how I got on with achieving them or not and setting some new goals for quarter two. Um, so I'm actually gonna leave the studio vlog here for this week, even though it's technically only been two days of filming, but two very busy days and I don't think you wanna come along with me on more computer jobs and filming jobs tomorrow. So one thing I will say is during April, I'm actually setting myself a daily drawing challenge or almost daily. I'm gonna be doing an A to Z of cute food characters and releasing one a day over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me now, go and follow me over on Instagram at Plan Inspire Create and take a look at the little illustrations that are coming out each day and comment if there's any food you would like to see on the upcoming letters or down below in the comments I'd love to know. So if you like this video please consider liking it and subscribing if you're not a subscriber already and I will see you really soon for another video. Bye!